The Recon Lord 8 in Battlefield games is by far the most challenging and most rewarding of all of the Lord 8s available. Coming up against another Recon player across the map, for example, can present a massive challenge if you're in a one-to-one -one engagement. However, once that shot has landed and you've got the kill, it can definitely be very satisfying indeed. In this video, we're going to be covering all of the sniper rifles we can expect to come to Battlefield 1, as sniper rifles in the World War 1 era was very rare to come by. In this video, I'll be covering all of the known sniper rifles that was used on a regular basis during World War 1, and therefore we can expect them to come to Battlefield 1. What I can say is that EA have been very specific and very vigilant on stating that Battlefield 1 is going to feature a lot of close quarters combat and is not going to be similar to, say, Battlefield 4, for example. In fact, this year, sniper rifles are going to be very rare to come by as the close quarters combat is going to mean that sniper rifles are going to become less effective. Granted, however, we do know a small list of sniper rifles that was used on a regular basis in World War 1 and in this video I will be announcing them with a few different pictures. So first of all let's confirm the first weapon that will be coming to Battlefield 1 that is going to be the Gewehr 98 sniper rifle. We've seen this for a short duration during the trailer with a side mounted scope. Side mounted scopes was very popular during World War 1. It would allow soldiers to peek around corners, peek their heads above trenches without showing a whole lot of their head and body, which of course would make them an easy target for the opposing snipers on the opposite side of battle. The next weapon is going to be a British sniper rifle and that is going to be the 1914 Enfield. This was used pretty often during World War One as a sniper rifle. It was also used as an assault rifle. You'll find that quite a lot of assault rifles was modified into sniper rifles during World War One. You'll also probably remember the Enfield from movies such as Saving Private Ryan, they was used up until the end of World War II. Very effective weapon and that would mean that gun number three is going to be a variation of the original 1914 Enfield and that is going to be the British Lee Enfield and this is a Mark III version. Here we can see it on screen. We can see that it's a more bulkier sniper rifle compared to the standard Enfield and well it was very effective, pretty much identical to the Enfield. Nonetheless, very effective weapon just similar to the regular Enfield and we're moving on to the next weapon it's going to be a USM 1903 Springfield this is probably the most well-known sniper rifle I would say from footage that people seen during an E3 conference, apparently they seen an extra five minutes of Battlefield 1 gameplay and the Springfield was seen within that specific gameplay. So that does confirm that the Springfield will be coming to Battlefield 1 as a sniper rifle. Some very good information there. And finally, the last weapon is going to be a Russian M1891 Mosin Nagant. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but this was developed in 1891 and it is still used used to this present day. Very effective sniper rifle. A lot of soldiers have been issued with it. Of course, this is a Russian sniper rifle. So it's going to be interesting to see if this is going to be used in Battlefield 1. Now in this video, I did cover five sniper rifles that we can expect to come to Battlefield 1. The reason why I've only covered five is because these was the most well-known and most used sniper rifles from the lot. And quite simply, at this particular moment in time, we're not really sure what EA is going to do with the Scout class. Of course, we can expect the Scout class to return, but in regards to the sniper rifles, it's going to be very difficult for them to incorporate a lot of different ones. In fact, it was well known that a lot of soldiers modified their own sniper rifles. So is it possible we could see something like that come to Battlefield 1? That is going to be very interesting to find out indeed. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave the video as that. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe as I will be covering the latest in Battlefield 1 news and information as soon as it's released. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much it from me. I'm the Long Sensation. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.